Do you edit stuff because you don't know how to make this fade up logo animation? Well stay tuned because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. All you need is a PNG of the logo that you want to make fade up on your screen. In my case it's a Batman logo. To find one just search up Batman logo PNG, that's it. To start you want to click on the PNG layer, open the layer tab and select auto trace. Now select work area and copy my settings. Press OK and it should create a mask around your logo. Once that is done, click on the layer, press M on your keyboard and copy the mask that we just created. Now we're gonna create a new solid and we're gonna do that by pressing Ctrl and Y on our keyboard and we're gonna make the solid black. Now paste the mask onto the solid by pressing Ctrl and V on your keyboard. Now add the saber effect and copy my settings. As you can see we have the shape of the logo already but we just want to adjust the glow intensity a bit and put it down to 20 so that you can see the strokes of the logo more clear. Now I'm going to change my color to white so I'm just going to go into the glow color and select white but you can also change to red if you want or green it doesn't really matter but I'm going to choose white for my edit. Now you can delete the PNG layer that we created earlier because we don't need it anymore and I'm also going to drag the solid below the text that I'm using for my edit and I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger by pressing S on my keyboard and just scaling it up a bit. So we now finish the logo but we still don't have the fade up animation as you can see. To add that we're gonna go to the start offset setting and set the keyframe at the very beginning of our logo and put the value up to 100. Now we're gonna go to the place where we want our logo to be finished and we're gonna put it all the way down to zero. As you can see, if we play it now, our logo is fading up, but it still looks pretty stiff in my opinion. So I'm going to press you on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes, select both of the offset keyframes that we just created, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them just so it looks a bit smoother. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pre-compose the whole thing. Make sure to use the bottom option and also enable this check mark. And now I'm going to press S again to bring up the scaling and set a keyframe at the beginning and put it to let's say 70 and go to the very end and put it to 100. Now as you can see we have some more movement and the fade up is way smoother. If this tutorial helped you make sure to like and subscribe and also share with a friend who desperately needs this tutorial. Make sure to join my discord I'm on there 24 7 you can chat to me talk to me ask me questions whatever and see you next time.